Hi guys, Roscoe here, and welcome to my review of the Hot Toys Superman figure from the film Man of Steel. Now I've had this figure for quite a while now, um, just been far too busy to do reviews of late. I um, have about six or seven new reviews to come in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. Um, because there are so many reviews on this guy at the moment, I'll just give you guys a quick look and um, my general thoughts and opinions on this awesome piece. Alright, first let's go take a look at the box. For those of you familiar with the Jarrell figure, you can see it's a very similar box, same style. I like the colours on this one more. The Jarrell seemed a bit more dull, showing Krypton, um, you know, in its dire hour, with a lot more dull colours. This one seems to represent Earth. It's got the nice blue sort of arctic look there with a nice red symbol. This marks the 200th um, MMS in Hot Toys series, so that's pretty significant. Got that nice sort of sort of plasticky feel to the box, which is a little bit flimsy on the top, but it does its job overall. And once again, you have your magnetic tabs on the side that pull open and it reveals the window showing the um, interior the figure and all the accessories. Alright, the accessories we get our instruction sheet which is quite standard these days. We get six spare hands so you've got your sort of open ones there, your relaxed ones and these ones here sim sort of to use for the flying mode. If you want him sort of flying that's a good hand to, to pose with. So you get doubles of each of those from left and right get this really cool one-to-one -one scale command key which we see in the movie that's made of solid metal so that's really nice get our spare hand pegs we also get the dynamic stand pole which is metal and you can bend that in whatever direction you need to get a, a cool flying pose then we have the clamp this piece this time seems to have a little support on the top here um, so if you want him sort of flying in the parallel sort of pose I think that will help support the body you got the cap there for the top of the um, that pole there now the, the, as I said in the Jarrell review the dynamic stands are great uh, for flying and levitating type poses but for general standing like I like to do with my stuff in the details um, it's no good they should have included a smaller version of that well, it's a simple plastic one, just to pop in the back there, we can see that little hole at the back, just to have him supported in a standing position. Anyways, the stand does look really nice. Brighter colouring this time, more bright than the Jarrell one. Got the metal name tag on the bottom, Man of Steel Superman. Love all the little details and patterning throughout, looks really good. The figure itself is outstanding. Got him in a simple museum type pose there. Now I thought, while well, looking at production picks, I thought I liked the Jarrell figure more. But in hand, um, I like this one a lot more than the Jarrell one. Just love the colours, the cape. A lot of people are modding the cape, getting a Tony May cape, and customising and modding the sort of the neckline. It isn't right. The in the movie he did have it a lot lower, and this sat more flush to his shoulders. So what people are doing does look a little bit better, but I won't be doing that to my figure. I'm just not in the mood to cut mine up after spending, you know, quite a bit on getting one of these. And it doesn't bug me that much how it is. I think it still looks great. And I actually do like the cape, the stock cape. So. You know, I don't want to be spending extra money and then cutting up and modding my piece just to get that little bit more movie accuracy. It's not really as important to me as some others. But if you want to do it, uh, go, go for it. You know, it does look good in the end. I just love the suit. It's really nice. Very movie accurate. Some people have some QC problems with the suit, you know, having some blemishes or the sort of these yellow strips peeling off, the glue was peeling off the suit but mine seems to be okay 
some of the stitching that I said was coming out as well. The posability is great despite the suit. Um, you know, it doesn't really strict, restrict him much. You can get some decent poses out of it. And all the flying things, but I wouldn't hold those stretching poses for too long. You just don't know what's going to happen to the suit over time. But the abs there look really cool. Let's give you guys a quick sorry, 360 look. The cape. Love all the folds in it. Similar to the Thor cape. All those nice folds. And here we have the awesome head sculpt. Which surprised me even more in person. Spot on Henry Cavill there. All the blemishes, the glassy looking eyes. Really love the head sculpt on this. Overall it's an excellent piece guys. If you're a fan of Man of Steel, yeah, you have to get this figure. Really, really nice. Really does stand the collection. I'm very happy to finally have it. Well, there he is, guys. Let's give you another quick look a bit further back. It's an excellent piece. Doesn't come with a, a whole lot, but comes with everything you need him to, to have. Overall, it's well worth it if you're getting him at retail at the moment. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please look, come, uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts and any comments. And I'll be bringing you some more reviews very soon. Thanks guys. Bye for now.